All right, guys, how are we today? All right, I'm gonna, I've just gone out of the whim here and I'm gonna actually do the challenge for you here. I've already shown you how to get into the scramjet mode. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's go and do the whole entire thing out to Cape Granaval. Uh, just to show you exactly everything, including the objectives at the top, because there's still people having trouble with it. So I'm just gonna show you what they do and what I do different uh, to make this aircraft work and how I get it down on the ground. So without further ado, we need to get the brakes off. So brakes are off. Military power holding. Alrighty. And let's go. Mill power. Once we get rolling, afterburners, let's go. Alrighty, guys. Get 180 knots, which is reach, and up we go. Gear up. About 10 degrees pitch up for 9 mark point 9. Maintaining heading. So we'll move over and follow the, the heading. There we go, we're at mark nine. So we pitch up to make maintain mark nine. Mark point nine, I should say. Alright, so we're pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up for that mark nine. Mark point nine, I keep forgetting. Keep coming up to 30 degrees. Alright, now we hold. We watch the speed and we drop it back down if we need to. Maintaining the point mark. Lowering the speed again. Alright, so we pitch down just a bit. That's what I'm doing. Not what it wants me to do. So basically, I just gotta maintain mark point nine. All right, now we got to pitch up 20. There we are. Holding, holding, holding. As long as we keep the point nine over 30, okay guys? So we'll hold this for a little bit. It's gonna tell me to in invert in a minute, so I'm gonna hold it for a bit longer. Here we go, we're gonna get ready for invert flight. So roll inverted, holding that mark 20. Alright, pull down, no more than plus one G. There it is, memory roll wings level. Rolled up right. Gradually now, we pull up. Pulling 1.2 upwards.
Come on, girl. Let's do it. 1.76 Gotta say, I love the music that's in the background for this. This is amazing. We're not going anywhere with the mark, so we're going to have to invert and do it again. So this time I'm going to do something that I prefer to do. You've seen how I've done it in the past? Slowly, gradually pulling down. Roll rings up. Nice and slow, because if you do it too fast, you will go into a stall. Alright, there's two. We're going to hold this for myself. This is what I do, because this... Uh, the objectives don't give you what, you, what needs to be done. Alright, so now gradually pull up, 1.2. So I'm going to pull up a little bit more vigorous now. No more than 2 Gs. There we go. Okay, so that was my input into the scramjet. If you follow what they say, you may not do it. Uh, like, you might not get into the scramjet mode all the time, so you need to be a little bit more aggressive. Alright, so while we're, while we're speeding up, I'm going to maintain heading. Maintain pitch 10. As you can see, we are increasing our speed now. Alright, so we're really increasing our speeds now, guys. So we'll be at Mark 3 in no time. Alright, we're at Mark 3. Lights off. I think it's bugged out. Switch in the scramjet. All right, we're going to level off at flight level one two zero. That's annoying. Internet problems. It's back again.
Promise to Mark 9. Why again? Go away. Afterburners are now off. Oh, go away. I don't have issues. It'll come back. You watch. I guarantee you it'll come back. I don't like that during my uh, videos, but oh. Okay, so here we are. Leveling up. See, I told you I'll be back. I don't know if we have little nav map either. VR maps out. We are cruising, guys. Oh god, this is gonna do my head in. Oh, and I don't have a um, mouse. Hang on a second guys, I need to get rid of that. Thank you. I'm getting sick of the internet here. Someone's downloading stuff at my house again. We're absolutely flying along here. Down. Come on, there we go. It it feels like you're going down when you're doing this. For some reason. It's just like the, the reflections from the the outside. crappy internet right there at the moment guys sorry about all of this but yeah so so far so good we're maintaining our we're not really maintaining high but we are maintaining what we need so we should be almost over um that would be the golf out there so it'll be quite quite close to um miami how far exactly we are. Let's go to Navigraph and find out, shall we? Alright. I'm gonna try and maintain here and see how we go. Go away! Jesus! Freaking Christ! All right, cool. Yeah, the internet for some reason is bogus today, guys. Uh, yeah, so out there is uh, where they do all the like aircraft carrier training, I believe. That Gulf just south of America there. I can't remember the, um, Wisconsin? No. Whitingfield North, that's right. Whitingfield North is one of the massive naval, um,
training bases. I used to fly an FSX there a long time ago with a um, an old combat uh, mod that took off for a bit, but then not many people used it or didn't know about it. I think it was called like Ace Combat or something, and uh, yeah, it had a whole multiplayer setup where you could wingman with people and level up and stuff. Jesus. Okay, I think I've counted like 12 times that that's popped up today. If it pops up again, I'm going offline. Jesus Christ. Hang on a sec, guys. What I might do... <laughs> yeah, even though this is meant to be a tutorial, I am going to turn off... Ah, oh, frick's sake. You gotta stay on it? Are you serious? That is BS, guys. I was gonna turn that online shit off. Because that is just absolutely annoying. I'm trying to show you guys stuff and... Wow. Painful. Alright, let's pull back uh, to the GPS setting. So we're just under halfway. So like if I bring up OBS, so you can have a look. Uh, not OBS, um Navi Graph. Right there. Go away. I will switch to offline in a second. But I don't think I can. Not for this mission anyways. Might just minimize that, just a small smidge. There we go. Next time I'm going offline, guys. I swear to God. But if we have a look outside, nice and red, eh? But listen to this, I love this. Just a pity we don't have a flyby uh, type thing. But yeah, now this aircraft's amazing. Great spy plane. Do a better role playing here, but you got like this uh, cool looking thing here that kind of gives you an idea. Should be using the scramjet mode here when you're up this high. Doesn't really matter which one you use. Alright, offline it goes. Sick of it. I'm just gonna bring Navigraph up so I can see what's going on. But yeah, Cape Canaveral's out here somewhere on the mouse. Oh, well, you probably can't see it on the mouse, but yeah, it's out here somewhere. <laughs> um. Going alright. Now it should tell us, um, I'm hoping, it tells us to pull back. Now I overflew the airfield when I did this. I'm gonna try and get back onto that magenta line. people down there that don't even know what's going on at, on at the moment. You just imagine if this was a an actual plane flying up this high.
over halfway now. I'm not 100% sure how long we've been streaming for. 22 minutes. This would be like a five hour flight easy. Some people reckon they've done this in 13. Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. 22 minutes so far. That's how long we've been streaming though. It's not how long the actual flight's been. We'll find out how the flight went when we get on the ground. Now the last time I did this I got up to like flight level 275 I think it was. Um, so that took me a little while to come down. So maybe this time it'll be a little bit different because we're at flight level 120. Well, flight level 1200, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, uh, true airspeed 5,663 knots. Not too bad. It's just a typical day here on, uh, on Earth. Super high realistic jet. Nice. Shouldn't be too far away now. We're just in uh, Houston airspace right now. I think it's Houston. I'm reading it up right upside down. And we'll be uh, going over to. Uh, I'm not too sure how to pronounce the next one. But we'll be approaching Florida very shortly. What do they call it? Ackersonville, something like that. Center. So I'm guessing it would be um, Jacksonville, something like that. So if we go in there, ah, oh, Jack and Jacksonville. They look like a name. So Jacksonville Center. So we'll be passing into Florida very shortly. So right down here is Whitingfield North and all of that sort of stuff. I used to fly out of here a hell of a lot in um, FSX. I uh, can't remember the other airfield that I flew around here. There's another Navy Navy field just uh, south of Whitingfield North. Florida now. So, so far, according to this, the video, the recording is 26 minutes. So 26 minutes from Nevada to here. That would normally take an A380, uh, an A320, sorry, and a 737, probably somewhere between three to four, maybe five hours, depending on headwind. Now, there's probably no wind up here whatsoever. Well, there's air, but wind, maybe not.
like how realistic this camera is. It's insane, guys. Alright, maintain, gradually pitch it down. So maintain a minus 3G, gradually pitch down 10 degrees. So minus 0.3 G's and pitching down 10. Hold stick aft and pull back five. So hard deck, 80. And back down to 10. Descend to 50,000, maintaining 10 degrees down. It's Cape Canaveral, 123 kilometers away. I don't know if we'll make it on this run. Might have to do a loop and come back around, but we'll see. All right, engines are starting to wail. Now we turn off these. It'll tell us in a sec. Set to by power to 80%. Scram jets off. Descending 10,000. I don't know if we'll make it, we'll see. We'll guard the scramjet. I shouldn't be doing that, eh? Flipping out the windows. But that's alright. We got uh, high high tech cameras out there, right? So we're really slowing down now. Maintaining the pitch degree of ten. Not too sure where the uh, the runway is, but we'll see. Coming down at 10,000 now. That might be the runway just there, maybe. Not sure. Could be further up. Actually, no, I think that might be it over there. You can see it off in the distance. Just gonna move the Navigraph for you. And we'll zoom on in. So it doesn't look like Navigraph actually has... Um, let me chuck that to world map. There we go. It doesn't actually have that and the ILS part. So I'd say we're either coming to this one or this one.
I would say that one there, maybe. I don't know. We will see. I can't remember. I know it's runway 13 that they want to land on. Last time I did this, I ran landed on the opposite. So, we'll see. I think it was 3 1 that I landed on. Alright, here comes 10,000. Turn some lights on, shall we? Landing lights. Descend 3,000. I'd like to know where the engine percentage is. It said 80%, but the, I can't see any any eh, any percentage apart from heat down there. My scram jets are still super hot. Look at that. Oh damn. Oh great. I'd say it's that uh, that runway over there. So basically, this whole landing will be on synthetic. And basically that's how you do it guys just follow what that was just basically yeah <laughs> get a town to mark 5 before 80,000 feet and you'll be right uh, I've had a few goes at it myself I just decided to do it on here instead of on the uh, on a normal thing I have done it on the normal um, but yeah I just thought I'd show it to you this way uh, so you can see the whole flight uh, all together. All right, we're gonna establish guide path and extend on the runway. So landing gear coming down, reduce throttle to idle, align with the runway. Reduce to 200 knots. Keep that speed coming down, guys. Two hundred knots is done. Align with the runway. Not going to be able to align with the runway too much because it's quite hard uh, without actual. Th stuff outside all right I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest 
Uh, here we go. Landing on runway 13 now. I have the runway in sight now. Throttle's back. And hard landing. Stop the aircraft on the runway. Now you feel like Maverick, guys. Peace. And let's see how we went, guys. I really hope this uh, helped with the, the landing side of things. 36 minute flight out of the whole thing. That wasn't too bad. Considering I've been filming for about 38 minutes. So it should tell us how we went. Ah, that's about it. Just 36 minutes. I really hope that was uh, enlightening, guys. And until next time, see you later.